Welcome back everybody. We want to give a big thanks to all our new subscribers. We're over 600 right now. We're well on our way of our goal of a thousand subscribers by October. We appreciate your support. You guys are the reason why we're making these videos. So we're gonna show you a couple ideas in this video today, and if you have any questions on these ideas or you want us to explain more about it, leave it in the comment below and we can make a full video on your questions. So with all of that out of the way, on to our top five ways to improve your tennis game. The first way to improve your game is really sound footwork. And we started with this because it's a pretty easy concept to think about, and really, all you gotta do is move your feet more often. So we see a lot of players, they come in like this, they'll hit their ball, and they kinda hang out for a second, and then they'll adjust, they'll hit their next one. But what we want you to do is move in between those. So you work your feet back and forth, always moving. So if it's a little bit shorter or deeper like that, I can adjust to that ball. Footwork is a really, really important thing. It's not utilized enough and it's really not talked about enough. You gotta have great footwork. A second thing that you can do to improve your tennis game is you can commit to learning a new shot. The shot that I'm gonna be working on today is the disguised forehand drop shot. The key to hitting that shot is that you have to disguise it with your grip. So you wanna be in your forehand grip like this, but as the ball's coming at the last minute, I'm gonna change my grip into my continental grip, and then I'm gonna come in and open the racket face, putting backspin on the ball so that it goes high, lands short, and stops right over the net. A good drop shot should bounce three times before it leaves the service box. A third way to improve your tennis game is to find ways to improve your mental toughness. And what I mean by that specifically is trying to overcome the nerves or the tightness that happens in tennis. One really good way that I figured out how to do that is you can play music before you go into your match. So if you take your favorite song, one of the songs that you just, you know really well, you listen to that going up to your match, when you get in those moments where you have a little bit of tightness, which ultimately will stop your footwork, a little bit of fear will stop you from trying new things or using some of the strokes that you may not be ultimately comfortable with, you can play that music in your head. You can keep it, kind of recite it in your head. It will calm your nerves because it will take your focus outside of the nervousness or outside of that uh, tightness. And it will allow you to play your best game. All right, so a fourth way that you can learn to improve your tennis game is by practicing your serve. You need to go out once a week, hopefully with a buddy, and just practice hitting serves. You're gonna wanna get a ball hopper like this, fill it up, or if you can get a crate like this, these are amazing, you can fit a lot more balls in it. The next thing you need is you need some cones, and these are gonna be your targets. And I've been doing this with my buddy, Jeremy Jones. Shout out to Jeremy. We're going out once a week, we're setting these cones up, and we're trying to hit the six spots on the court. The six spots we've got are the two T serves here, down the tee, you wanna be able to hit those spots. And then we have the body serve. So we're gonna take this one right here, place it in the center on both sides. That's your body serve that's gonna jam them up. And then you've got your two out wide serves. On the add side over here, I'm gonna place this one right by the single sideline. I can play that deep one here, or I can play it up a little closer if I wanna work on my kick serve. I'll place that right here. And then I've got my slice out wide on the deuce court a huge serve that's gonna open up the court when you're playing singles, a great serve for doubles too, and I'll place that cone right here. And I'm gonna go out and hit some serves and kinda of show you how to hit at these certain six spots. All right, I've got my basket of balls here. I'm gonna start hitting serves to the six targets, and I'm gonna explain what kind of spin I'm gonna hit for each shot. So I'm on the deuce court first, and I'm gonna work on that out wide serve. I'm gonna use my slice serve because I want that ball to curve off the court away from my opponent. All right, so the slice serve. There's a green cone out there. I'm gonna do my setup, get in here, toss, and a little bit over the cone. I'm gonna try to get that ball down, put some spin on it. 
really close, but you can see that ball is breaking off towards the fence, away from my opponent. That's the key to the out wide serve. Now, the purple cone in the center, that's the body serve. I've got two options here. I can use my slice and start it off on their left side and curve it into their body, or I can hit a flat serve right at them and just try to jam them. So I'll do two of those. Start with the slice, coming in here. Not bad, a little bit left. And now I'm gonna hit that flat serve, which is actually the top spin flat hard serve, but it has a little bit of top spin. Coming in here, getting there. Not bad, just missed it. Now I'm gonna go for the T-serve. The T-serve on the deuce side should be your flat serve. I do not want that ball curving back towards my opponent. So I'm gonna go for that orange cone. It's gonna be my hard flat serve. Coming right, right down the T. Right there. Missed it a little bit left. All right, now we're going to the ad side. For the ad side, I'm gonna start with the T again. There's an orange cone there. Now, I wanna use my slice again because I want that ball to land and curve left away from my opponent. I should always be trying to slice it when I hit down the T on the ad side. Here comes that one. Right on the line, that was a really good serve. Um, Back to the body serve again on the ad side. Same thing, I can slice that ball into the body or I can go for the hard flat one right at them just to take their time away. I'll do one of each. Here comes the slice, coming in. <clears throat> Not bad, on the line, a little bit to the left of my target. And now the flatter one in here, <clears throat> really close. All right, the last target, the out wide on the ad side. I've got two options. The first thing I wanna do is learn how to hit a flat serve out wide. The reason I hit the flat serve out wide is because I don't want it curving towards them. Same idea as the flat serve down the tee on the deuce side. That ball is gonna land and go straight away and not get towards them. The second option is the kick out wide where I throw it over my head, I land it to the right and kick it off the court away from them. So the flat serve first coming in here, right at that green cone. <laughs> in the net, let's try that again. This is the toughest serve because we're hitting a wide serve over the highest part of the net. So I've got to get up and use my legs for that one. That one was better. And now the kick serve. I'm gonna to try to get even maybe a little more to the right of that cone and a little bit shorter. Try to drop it in short and kick it off the court. So coming back here. And like I've said in the past, that's a serve that I'm working on. It's not my best serve, but it is starting to improve. So that's how you want to practice. You want to have an intention between all your serves. Every spot requires a different spin, a different placement, and you have to have the right intention behind each serve. All right, the fifth and final way to improve your tennis is to get out and practice your return. Practice it often. I'm going to show you a few examples of how to return depending on the speed of the ball that the server's hitting. The first option that you have for your return is your top spin return. There's two ways to use this. If the server has kind of a slow serve, you're gonna come in here probably with a full ground stroke of top spin and hit through your ball. However, if the server hits their serve a little bit faster, you're gonna shorten up that take back. It will look something like this. I'm gonna kind of abbreviate that take back and then still come in with the top spin stroke. Now, the, another way to hit a return would be using your slice or your chip. And I use this a lot if there's a really big server or if I wanna come in behind and I wanna keep the ball kinda of low, that's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna get my racket set up high like this. Oh, he missed that one, here we go. Racket high like this and I'm gonna kinda of chop into it. And as I cut through that, that ball, the ball is gonna stay a little bit lower. And then your last return that you may use if you're facing a big server, would be just kind of a block. You're just getting the ball back in play. You're kind of trying to stay alive. And I'm gonna come in here like that and I'm just gonna go flat. If you saw that racket, it came in like this, it was flat and I just kind of bumped it back. And that's if you're facing a really big uh, server. So the main key to these returns is the fact that you have to get out there and practice it a lot. You should be spending as much time as you can on hitting these returns. And then within that, you have a little bit of variety that you can practice as well. All right, so there you have it. Our top five ways on how anyone can improve their tennis. And with each of the strokes that we did, we've attached some slow motion video that will roll right after this. So thanks a lot. We appreciate your support. Please subscribe if you hadn't. Hit the like button and we'll see you next week with another video.